Hi everyone, thanks for joining me once again. I'm gonna do another hotel review. If you're a regular viewer to my channel, you'll know I'm in Pattaya at the moment, and I'm staying in quite a nice hotel. I am gonna be changing this hotel uh, due to price. I'm gonna stay down here uh, longer than I plan to. I'm actually staying on Soy 7. It's a place called the Flipper House, not to be confused with the Flipper Lodge on Soy 8. I have stayed there before, so there's two flippers basically. Flipper House, which is where I am now, and the Flipper Lodge, which is on Soy 7. That's not a bad hotel and it's right on the seafront um, but I, I came here on recommendation from a viewer so I was hoping to show you some different levels of rooms but they are actually fully booked at the moment hence why their prices have gone up when I booked this room this is their basic room uh, it's got a tiny balcony that you can't actually go on it's just for the air con uh, but the bigger rooms the upgraded rooms you've got mini suites uh, your junior suites full suites uh, you've also got sort of um, upgraded rooms this is their budget room but it's very very nice and I, I recommend it when I booked this when I was in the UK and I booked this several months ago it was coming in on a Golder at about 800 baht a night now if you don't know a Golder it's a hotel booking site uh, not only hotels but they're a, they're a booking site uh, and they're very very popular in Thailand so I booked this on a Golder it cost me about 800 uh, baht a night I booked it for six days I was gonna head back up to Bangkok but you know what Prices are so cheap down here. I'm having a, a, a good time and meeting a lot of people. Uh, I thought I'd stay down here for another week. So I went on to a Golda this morning um, with the intention of booking another night. And of course, because it's fully booked now, it's quite popular time of year. We're getting into high season now, October. It, it was coming up at nearly 1200 baht. Now, I'm not gonna pay that because I'm here for several months. I've gotta try and stretch my money out a little bit better. So I found another hotel, which is on Soy Bacal, which works out about 600 baht per night. It's very nice. Uh, I hope they've got availability. I'm gonna get on the motorbike and go over there shortly. And I will, of course, do a review of that hotel or whatever hotel I move to uh, on Sunday. I'm planning to move on Sunday, okay? So I'm actually in the room right now. I'll, I'll uh, photograph the room later, but what I wanna do is go outside, uh, photograph the street, whereabouts in the, in the soy it is, and then I'll show you what facilities they have, and uh, we'll take it from now. I'll, I'll finish off by coming back to the room, uh, and I'll just show you what's here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is Soy 7, that's the top end of it there. Uh, I think that's, Nick, yeah, you can see Nick, Nick Dean's bar on the right there. Uh, and I'll swing it round. This is the actual the hotel coming into, into view now, but I'll just let the camera pan down to the other end there. So that's Soy 7, we're on Soy 7 now, and obviously if you walk right to the end, that'll take you down to the beach road. So I'm now um, entering the hotel. Flipper House. There is a restaurant. Um, breakfast is generally included in the, uh, the price of the room here. I didn't ask for breakfast. And they didn't ask me if I wanted breakfast. Um, but it's on till quite late. Breakfast is on till about 11 o'clock in the morning. I've got to be um, honest with you, it's not the best breakfast in the world. It's doable because it's free, but they don't serve, you know, real bacon. It's that kind of ham in hot water and the hot dog sausages, you know, usual sort of thing. But you can fill up on eggs and toast and all the rest of it as you, as I do. Okay, right, let's now head up to the eighth floor where the swimming pool is. <laughs> there are a lot of girls behind the reception desk, I think as many as six, they're all smiling, they're all giggly, they're real nice girls. But as I walked in, I, I pointed the camera to the floor, and when I paused it and came back, I said to them, I said, don't worry girls, you know, I've, I, 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 I filmed the floor, not you, and they're all clapping and saying thank you very much. So let's go and have a look at the pool anyway. Right, so I'm gonna be very discreet here. I don't really wanna film anybody. So I'll just show you the pool. It's quite a nice size. Uh, you, this is open till quite late in the evening. One of the problems of being a YouTuber is trying to be discreet while giving out the information. I just went up to the swimming pool there, as you see, and there were a lot of people sitting around the pool. And I, I, I just pointed the camera at the, at the pool, as you see, but you know, you get some funny looks and people don't like cameras. And I've learned over the last few years to kind of be really discreet, point the camera down, don't get people in there. You do get YouTubers who are, um, let's just say they're not very discreet and they don't give a damn and they'll just point the camera in anybody's face and it's just not polite. I don't do it anymore. Um, but we'll carry on. Let's go and have a look at my room now. 
unfortunately I wasn't really able to film um, all the facilities at the swimming pool there. They have got a bar, a bar, and you can get snacks, tea, coffee, drinks, that sort of thing. But there were a lot of people sitting around as there always is in the afternoon at the pool. Um, so, you know, I, I, like I said, I had to be very discreet. Right, I'm on the fourth floor. Let's have a look what we've got. Okay, here's my room. Um, no key cards here, it is old school. Okay. Right, so as always when I do a hotel review, it is a little bit messy because I'm living here. Key in the slot there to get the electric. Okay, so let's start with the bathroom. So it's a real nice bathroom actually. Remember, this is their budget room, okay? So it's very clean, it's very modern. Um, really large wet room look there. And, and I can tell you the shower here, it, it, it's really good. The, the hot water doesn't fluctuate. There's a, an in-room safe, you set your own cold there. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is there isn't a wardrobe. They've got this kind of rail that you hang your clothes on, um, which is okay. It's okay, uh, but I prefer a wardrobe, you know, old fashioned and all that. Uh, very large bed and it's very, very comfortable as well. Now, I'm doing some editing here. I've had to kind of, it's not the best. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable. I've, ha I've had to, uh, this little chair and table is designed to, Kind of swung it all around it's designed to kind of sit and have a coffee or something but you know i need a place to work and it's like i say it's not the most comfortable place in the world but you know make do with what you've got right uh standing in the other corner of the room so you can see you've got a mini fridge there it's very cold actually it keeps icing up um tv, the TV. okay so you can see i brought my own coffee and sweeteners and my own mug and there's a kettle there so you can make your uh, you know your own brew in the morning uh, hair dryer there for anybody who wants to use it. I certainly won't be using it. Uh, and here's a room from the other, the other end. So, like I say, for 800 baht, you can do a lot worse, and the location is very good. It's close to the beach, it's close to everywhere, um, you know, in the main part of town. And look, let me just show you this balcony. This isn't designed to sit on, and I've got a view that it looks like I'm in a prison cell, but I'm out all day, uh, and that's a balcony. You can actually step out there, but. You know, for what you could, I suppose, if you were a smoker and your partner wasn't a smoker, you could come out here. But there you can see that's it. But like I say, it's 800 baht, you can pay two and a half thousand baht, and you can get a lovely junior suite. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Um, like I say, I'm going to be changing hotels because if, if I only came here for a week or two weeks, this is fine. Uh, but I don't want to pay, you know, sort of 25% more than I originally paid, so I am going to move. But I hope you found this uh, video helpful, as I say, and uh, next time you come to Patty, maybe you can uh, check into the Flipper House. Thanks for watching, guys.